Hello guys, welcome to my channel the mini soft tech. Today we are going to see what is the main difference between the lazy writer and the checkpoint. Okay, so basically if you see the SQL server checkpoint and lazy writer writes the dirty pages from the buffer pool to the disk. So what is the main difference? So before you know going through what is the main difference, first we need to understand what is the goal of or what you can say that what is the main objective of the checkpoint okay so the main goal of this checkpoint is to shorten the database recovery time so say for example when a sql server crashes are restarted okay so therefore increasing the availability so say for example if the checkpoint runs for the longer time for five minutes or something and if the transitions are happening and meanwhile if database crashes or SQL server restarted then it will take longer time you know to restore the databases and run the check I uh, mean sir roll forward and uh, roll back the transactions so that is the main you know goal of the checkpoint to shorten the recovery point okay so the second point is like it makes data files not lagging too much behind the transaction log so if the you know that you know all the transactions whatever it is happening first the it is written to the transaction log okay and if the checkpoint does not run frequently then the pages will not be flushed to the disk so that is the reason checkpoint runs frequently almost once in every one minute by default so that the rolls forward all the transition log records from that point on so that if the crashes and the SQL server starts then it reduces the roll forward and uh, roll roll forward and roll back you know roll back you know to the faster so that the database can be recovered sooner so if say for example if checkpoint was long time ago it could be that amount of log to roll forward is huge and it can take considerable time during that time your database is unavailable affecting affecting availability you have longer downtime or you can say that more frequent checkpoints means less amount of log needed to roll forward resulting in faster recovery okay so that is the main purpose of the checkpoint to reduce the recovery time when the database is crashes and when it comes up then it takes lesser time to roll forward and roll back the transaction and by that way the recovery is faster also there are some you know uh, the checkpoint that SQL Server runs itself that is called the internal checkpoint say for example like backup database command for example such so checkpoints are called internal and we cannot do manual checkpoint by invoking a checkpoint SQL I'm sorry we can also do or we can run a manual checkpoint by just running the checkpoint using the transaction you know using the TSQL command so that is the main reason I hope you understand what is the main purpose of the checkpoint okay so let's go to the next slide to see what is the use of the lazy writer okay so lazy writer so we are going to understand what is the main objective of the lazy writer so the lazy writer pur purpose is to release the buffer pool memory okay when memory when there is a memory pressure occurs so basically for pages cached in buffer pool it releases the space from the memory memory pool so also when more memory is needed for example bringing in new pages to the cache lazy writer responds to a memory pressure releasing the coldest pages from the buffer pool and makes more memory available for new pages to come in and that is normal to see that lazy writer occasionally makes a room so it means that 
as you know the checkpoint by default it runs every 1 minute but lazy writer does not run you know every 1 minute so lazy writer runs whenever there is a memory pressure on the sql server so say for example if there is no space you know in the buffer pool to run the new query or if new pages are required to be in the buffer pool and there is no pages then uh, lazy writer runs and it clears the clean pages and if there are the dirty pages then first the dirty pages are flushed to the disk and then it is marked clean okay so that is the main objective of the lazy writer so it runs when there is you know needed when there is a memory pressure also but if lazy writer constantly has a lots of work to do starting to purge pages that are not old at all you see buffer node page life expectancy perform counter stays below data cache size in gb slash 4 gb into 300 then you will get the you know how much will be the page life expectancy so you have a problem with buffer cache memory okay so that is the reason the lazy writer runs also you do not want pages flow though the buffer cache like a rapid river you want them to stay there and be reused read written and written again in memory and not the disk which is slow compared to memory as long as possible so low page life expectancy nullifies buffer caching purpose affecting performance so page life expectancy means it uh, tells you if it means that your pages are not living there in the buffer for, for longer time it means that there is a memory pressure and that is the reason lazy writer runs and it makes sure that the certain percentage of you know memory is available on the buffer pool so that is the main objective of the lazy writer so if the lazy writer runs frequently it means that there is a memory pressure on the server also if the page life expectancy is less it means that the pages are not staying in the buffer pool and that indicates that there is a memory pressure another thing is that you cannot run the command like lazy writer as we are running the checkpoint so we cannot run the lazy writer it doesn't bother about you know the lazy writer doesn't bother about the checkpoint and all and recovery shortening the recovery and all it is mainly for you know clearing the pages from the buffer pool so like in the checkpoint we seen earlier checkpoint runs every one minute but it will flush the pages okay from the buffer pool and it will write uh, run the checkpoint but it will not flush the clean pages so it marks that you know the data has been written from the buffer pool to the disk and mark the pages as a clean but it will not clear that pages from the buffer pool but when the lazy writer runs it will flush that pages from you know from the buffer pool and will make the room available there for the new pages okay so here you can see how it is happening how the checkpoint is running and what is the process so say for example when the client is firing a command update statement okay then it goes when it establishes the connection it goes to the database sql database you know saying that we need some uh, you know pages okay that needs to be modified required pages are copied to the buffer cache from the disk so as you know if you have seen my previous video if not then you can go my previous video and see the architecture of the sql server how the pages are available by the access method okay so access method has all the code and request to the buffer uh, manager to avail the pages from the disk if it is not already in the buffer pool so th the buffer pool makes available the pages but if since it is a update statement so before making available the pages in the buffer pool okay first of all it will write to the transaction log that is called as the as a write ahead logging so here you can see the transition log entry is made before data is copied to the disk okay so before making available here first it is written to the transition log okay and then it is available in the buffer pool 
so when the data is you know modified in the buffer buffer cache that is called as dirty pages because it is not written to the disk then as you know every one minute checkpoint runs okay and write these dirty pages to the disk and mark these dirty pages you know like the white pages okay but checkpoint will not clear the white pages the pages will remain there but it will not show as the dirty pages because it is already written to the disk okay so checkpoint writes all dirty pages to the disk and marks the pages as a clean so by this way it is making the recovery point you know that will take a lesser time okay but what does the a lazy writer do so as you know the uh, checkpoint writes the pages to the disk but it do not clear the white pages clean pages okay but when there is a memory pressure okay it has some algorithm that this much percentage of space should be there in the buffer pool and if that does not meet then the lazy writer will run and it will uh, you know flush the clean pages as well as the plan caches if required and will make available the new pages for the new queries so that is the main difference but again we will see the you know main difference in the chart okay so here you can see the sql server uses checkpoint to flush dirty pages in the disk to keep database recovery as per the defined threshold but in sql server uses the lazy writer process to flush the dirty and clean pages for keeping the free space in the buffer cache to accommodate new pages so it runs for accommodating the new pages but it is running for the database recovery okay here you can see the checkpoint generates the transaction log records and follows the write ahead logging process but in lazy writer does not make any entry in the transaction log checkpoint flushes only the dirty pages as we discussed earlier it flushes both dirty and clean pages okay we can manually execute the checkpoint for or control the checkpoint behavior by setting the appropriate parameter but lazy writer dba cannot control on the lazy writer process it runs by the system checkpoint is also dependent on the recovery model okay but lazy writer does not have any relationship with the database recovery model say for example you might have seen this thing uh, simple recovery model bulk log recovery model and full recovery model but here it is there is a not concept in the lazy writer we can monitor the checkpoint event by using the undocumented system function as well as the trace flags starting from sql server 2012 it is also logs an entry in the error log for the long checkpoint we cannot monitor the lazy writer processes here we can check checkpoint lsn in the database boot page we cannot but in lazy writer we cannot check the lazy writer processes okay so i hope you enjoyed the video and it is uh, helpful to you okay so if you if it is useful and you like the video then hit the like button okay and subscribe to my channel for the next coming videos thank you guys